Backpackers can be obsessive about saving weight, and anything that reduces excess is worth considering. One way we've seen people cut weight is by making toothpaste dots. Toothpaste dots are small dabs of toothpaste that have been placed on foil for about three to four days to dry. After they dry, you can carry them in a plastic bag. The idea is that the moisture evaporates from the wet globs of toothpaste, making the dry dots lighter. The dots can be easily counted so you can bring the exact amount of toothpaste you need for your trip, reducing the risk of carrying more than you actually need. While the concept is sound, we were curious about how much weight this actually saves. An empty tube of toothpaste weighs 0.3 ounces and the plastic bag weighs 0.2 ounces. This means that's a tenth of an ounce win for toothpaste dots. A whole tube of toothpaste weighs 0.7 ounces and the dry toothpaste weighs 0.6 ounces, which again means a tenth of an ounce win for toothpaste dots. Overall, toothpaste dots will save you about two tenths of an ounce if you compare it to carrying the same amount of wet toothpaste in one of these travel sized tubes. So why bother? Well, the main reason that you might want to carry dry toothpaste dots is that you can count out exactly the number of dots that you need for your trip, which eliminates the excess that you might carry if you go the wet toothpaste route. And we all know that excess toothpaste equals excess weight in your pack. The other reason you might want to choose to carry the toothpaste dots is that a Ziploc bag is undoubtedly more useful than a tube of toothpaste in the backcountry. You can use a Ziploc bag to keep your electronics dry or maybe even um, store some dry tinder before a rainstorm comes in, things like that. What do you think? Are toothpaste dots worth it? Let us know in a comment down below and check out the videos that I've linked at the end of this video for more backpacking tips and tricks.